Yes, welcome back to another video. It's your boy official, and in today's video, I am going to be telling you when Italy will start taking immigrants to Albania. We all know that Italian government is building immigrants camp in Albania, where they will send immigrants to to process their asylum. If you qualify, then they will bring you back to Italy. But if you are not qualified from Albania, they will deport you back to your home country. Guys, reporting videos like this for you, I am not here to discourage anyone, but I am telling you what is on the ground. Now, in Albania, they will be sending immigrants who are more than 18 years. That is men. Children, minors, women, women who are pregnant will not be sending to Albania. It is only men who are from 18 years going now a lot of people are protesting against this albania camp because they are saying italy is sending immigrants to prison because the albania they are sending immigrants to will be more or less like sending immigrants to prison and more to the point you run from your country to italy to seek for asylum so why is that italian government will send you to a prison again so a lot of people are protesting against this thing so that it will not come on because this particular camp was supposed to be ready in last month that was in august but this september according to news they are saying the camp can be ready any moment from now and recently a lot of immigrants are arriving now a lot of people are asking those who are here already will they be sending them to albania for that point is not yet clear we are still looking forward to see what will happen maybe they will say those who are here already we are not sending them it is only those who are arriving so those who will be arriving new after the rescue everything they will send them direct to albania but we are still praying that this deal will not come on because we have a lot of albanian immigrants who are also here in italy hosteling in the way they have built the camp you will not even have your freedom of movement so let's pray that this still will not come on because they have postponed the opening of the camp several months if anything comes out i'll still let you know let's watch this video when we have a crew give you the rest of the update so stay this is the migrant processing center in coastal town of Shenzhen, constructed jointly by Albania and Italy. It is part of an agreement between Prime Ministers Giorgia Meloni and Edi Rama to manage the arrival of undocumented migrants to Europe. The facility is capable of processing up to 3,000 migrants monthly, with Italy covering the $750 million cost. But the policy has been controversial since it was announced. One of the most pressing issues with this agreement is the state of human rights, specifically concerning the migrants who will be taken in, coming from countries along the Mediterranean seas and how they will be treated in these camps. According to the agreement, pregnant women and children will be separated and not taken in, while only men aged 18 and above will be admitted. The facility behind me is a migrant processing center where migrants heading to Italy will be screened. While politicians both in Albania and Italy hail this as a solution, the reality on the ground for these people is far from simple. The Shenzhen Center, secured by a five-meter fence, has sparked concerns about transparency, leaving locals feeling excluded. There is no problem. These are government matters. They make their projects whenever they want. What's bad about that? Even if we were asked, the opinion would be very good. The reception and housing in Jada, there is nothing wrong, it's all positive, nothing negative. Money will flow into the community, they'll eat and drink somewhere, buy water and there'll be profits. They'll buy a pie from the bakery, a bottle of water there, a pack of cigarettes there, fuel at the gas station. I think it will be profitable. While some see economic benefits, the 28-day processing timeline is widely seen as unrealistic given the complexities involved. This was a completely personal decision by Prime Minister Rama who then admitted this by arguing that he made it individually to avoid public consultation or reaction. In Italy, the local opposition reacted even more negatively, 
accusing Prime Minister Meloni of making deals with a corrupt government and a corrupt Prime Minister. Italy sees these centers as a model for managing migration outside EU borders. Critics say this shifts the burden, outsourcing the asylum process to countries with fewer resources. The facility is staffed, systems are being tested, but it remains to be seen how this system will function. But Italy and Albania are determined to proceed. As this center stands ready, the debate continues. Will this address the migration crisis or just shift the burden? Katarina Petrovic, TRT World, Shenzhen, Albania. In August 1st, Italy will open two centers in Albania to host some 3,000 asylum seekers that uh, will be rescued from international waters each month. One will be just behind me at the port of Shenzhen, while the other will be at the air base in Jadar, 20 kilometers to the east. Both centers will be run by Italy and uh, Albania will provide only outside security. Both countries signed a five-year deal in November. Still, sending the asylum seekers to a non-EU member country like Albania is very controversial. While uh, the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen endorsed it as an out-of-box thinking, human rights group criticize it because they say it compromises the refugees' protection. The construction of two Italian migrant detention centers in Albania is underway, with facilities expected to open at the beginning of August. Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni and Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama signed a deal where Albania agreed to shelter migrants while Italy processes their asylum claims. Meloni has defended the controversial plan, saying it is necessary as part of her policy to crack down on migration and deter prospective refugees from making the dangerous Mediterranean crossing. The deal was described as outside EU law by former European Commissioner Yilva Johansson. Italian opposition lawmakers also decried the plan as too expensive with it expected to cost over 600 million euro within five years. Over half of the EU member states have signed a document asking the European Commission to move in this direction. Albania could receive up to 36,000 asylum seekers. Hey guys, I hope you have seen the video. So that is how the camp is going to be. The kind of money the Italian government is spending over there. In fact, they could have used that money to take care of a lot of immigrants here in Italy. But this woman preferred to use this money to build camp in Albania so that she can send immigrants to that place. As I said before, reporting this video for you, I am not here to discourage you. Continue integrating in the countryside. If God says you are going to get documents, no matter how, you will still get the documents. Until we meet again in the next video, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Official Cracker TV on TikTok. We are also live. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? It doesn't take anything from your account subscribing to the channel. Subscribing to the channel is free of charge. So why don't you click on the subscribe button and be part of the official family. Until we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and safe. Peace.